Well folks, it's been a little while since we had a locomotive profile. I uh, can't call them a lockdown locomotive profile anymore, <clears throat> or a locomotive lecture. Um, but we thought we'd uh, just give you a quick, quick preview of the recently released AccuCraft Packet. Uh, this is how it's delivered. It comes in a stout outer box, which I will now dispose of. It comes with instruction manual, boiler and gas tank certificates, and a warranty card. Open the box, and you find inside a clamshell. Inside the clamshell <coughs> is the locomotive. A pair of gloves. The various tools you're going to need. The spare plain dome that is supplied, which is a straight bolt-on replacement for the one fitted to the locomotive. Right, let's see what we've got. So, the locomotive is well trapped in its outer packaging. It comes wrapped in plastic and tissue paper. And when this is peeled off, voila! One gorgeous little saddle tank. Full details of the locomotive are on the website. But let's see what we've got. Okay, so the Peckett is an 040 saddle tank, Cranmore class, uh, designed for use in East Somerset, but we've modelled ours on the example that found its way to, out to Australia, the two foot six gauge version, which gives you a little bit more flexibility and allows us to make it a gauge adjustable locomotive. Usual AccuCraft features, tilting cab roof, inside that you've got regulator, gauge glass, oil fill, pressure gauge, gas filler, boiler top-up valve, burner on the floor, reverser to one side of the cab, actuated through the cab door, or if you like, to the back of the cab. These open back cabs are very useful for that. One other feature we need to point out is that when it's delivered, the locomotives come with a clear plastic film to protect the spectacle glasses, which is easily peeled off like that. Uh, so worth removing before you run your locomotive. There are a few other features you might appreciate. The dome, obviously, as I said earlier, can be exchanged for the one with the prominent safety valves. Uh, very attractive, nice little detail. Uh, the toolboxes also have opening lids, so you can get a whole set of equipment for your locomotive and fill the toolbox. It's quite a good place to put spare coupling chains for those that are using a chain and hook arrangement. If we turn the locomotive upside down, you can see the valve gear underneath, but in particular the gauge adjusting, usual AccuCraft thing, Dimples in the axle, uh, grub screws in the bosses, slacken off the grub screws, move the wheels into the 32mm setting, tighten up the grub screws, and then they're set to gauge. Underneath, you've also got a boiler drain and a lubricator drain, both of which are on simple taps underneath that side of the footplate beautifully finished. We'd like to thank David Fletcher for his hard work in getting the drawings done for this locomotive. Um, he's harked back to the Peckett original livery when they came out of the factory. Brown frames, dark green bodywork, lined out in black and yellow. Anyhow, there she is. We hope you enjoy steaming the locomotive and uh, from what we've heard so far Feedback has been generally very good. People are getting run times of about 30-35 minutes out of the gas tank. You will need to top up the boiler during the running, but you've got the gauge glass to keep an eye on it. Anyway, if you bought one of these little beasts, happy steaming. And if you haven't, you'd better hurry up, because there aren't many left. Thanks.